Rome is such a historic city and it's so full of good food, good vibes. Make sure you check out the Cacio Pepe. I started my journey to Rome in business class. It was an amazing experience where the food and the drinks just kept coming. The seats reclined fully to 180 degrees, so you can totally lay flat in these seats. I definitely recommend it at least once. We flew into Rome, Fumicino, Aeropuerto, and from there we took the Leonardo Express to Roma Termini Station. It was 14 euros and about 30 minute train ride to get us into Rome. Then from there, we took a taxi to our Airbnb. The taxi was about 17 euros. This is a one bedroom Airbnb. As you can see, there's gold and yellow accents, which just made the place look very chic and nice. There's no elevator in this building, so you do need to walk up about three flights of stairs. However, the host will help you with your luggage if you let him know what time you're arriving. Our Airbnb was very clean and centrally located. You could easily fit two people in this Airbnb. Here's a look at the bathroom. It had the toilet and the bidet. After dropping off our stuff at the Airbnb, we wanted to hit the streets of Rome. And since our Airbnb wasn't that far from Trevi Fountain, we started there. Trevi Fountain was a beautiful site. We passed by here a few times while we were in Rome and it was always packed. After Trevi Fountain, we went into a nearby church just to take in the artwork and the attention to detail that you often find in Rome. Every few feet while walking around Rome, you'll see a gelateria, which is a gelato shop. I had to try the pistachio and it was very creamy and flavorful. We were on a hunt for a rooftop bar and we finally found one so we can take in the views of Rome. Since we were in Italy, I had to try the Aperol Spritz and it came with these snacks and they were all so delicious. We were finally ready for lunch and I had to try the Cacio Pepe at Ristorante Pizzeria da Mecelle. I'll leave a link for the Ristorante Pizzeria da Macelli in the description box so you guys can find it if you're ever in Rome. It wasn't my favorite restaurant during our time here, but it was pretty good. After lunch, we needed to walk off the food and we set out to find the Colosseum. So this is it here that you see up ahead. It is just a massive structure. It's as big as any stadium that you would see in the U.S. It's just impressive. After the Coliseum, we went back to the Airbnb to take a nap, and then we headed out for dinner. So there was a lot of reviews of this place, Osteria da Fortunada. Here they make the pasta noodles in-house. So you can see there was quite a line, but the tables actually moved pretty fast. So we were seated in maybe 15 minutes. The wine was delicious and the pasta was very good as you can see. The real thing that I want to tell you guys about here was the dessert. I got the panna cotta with espresso and my friend got a cheesecake. They were both so delicious. Oh my God. 
After dinner, we again needed to walk off the food. We were surprised by how warm it was even this late after sunset. We passed by the Pantheon and it was still packed with people. Rome has a great vibe at night. <laughs> Day two, we got a quick Roman breakfast before heading out to Vatican City. The Vatican City had a beautiful design. The sight lines were very nice. We didn't get a chance to visit the Sistine Chapel because you need tickets in advance. If you don't have tickets, then the line is ridiculously long and we decided to eat lunch instead. Now this place was my favorite restaurant that we visited in Rome. It's called Taverna Lino. My friend had a four cheese pizza and I had the cacio e pepe with truffle shavings. It was so delicious. We had the panna cotta for dessert, which was also very good. Here's a look at the menu so you can see the prices. After that lunch and the Roman heat, we needed a nap. So we went and took a nap, came back out and went to the mall for some souvenir shopping and just to try some of the pastries and chocolates that they had. I did try these orange fillets with dark chocolate because I had never seen anything like that before and they were actually really good. Dinner time! Oddly enough, I was actually starving and ready to eat again. So we went to this panini place in the mall called the Santis and it was very good. The cheese was fresh. The tomatoes were delicious. Ugh, I can't wait to go back. <laughs> It was our last night in Rome and I wanted to soak up the last little bits and pieces that I could. So we decided to revisit the Trevi Fountain. It's so beautiful at night. We sat down at this cute restaurant with these white umbrellas for one last drink in Rome. The restaurant owner here was so nice. I would definitely recommend this place just to relax and be out in Rome. We're on our way back to Roma Termini Station. Rome was a good time. It's such a historic city and the food was delicious. We took the Leonardo Express back to Fumicino Aeropuerto and even at the airport the food was delicious. We had a slice of pizza here and it was ridiculously good.